A big day for race fans as they got their first look at the new Daytona International Speedway. Yeah, we've been talking about this for months. Millions spent on all the renovations. News 6 reporter Lauren Korn was one of the lucky ones who got to go inside. Today's the first day of Roar Before the Rolex, an event that kicks off racing season. A lot of fans already out here to watch their favorite drivers and to catch a glimpse of the new speedway. It's the fast cars going at top speeds around the track. A final rehearsal before the Rolex 24 and a sneak peek of the newly renovated Daytona International Speedway. They spent their money pretty well. It looks great, actually. Obviously, the great sign they, they put up is new. Some nice lighting up in front. While fans can only appreciate the tower and grandstands from the infield, workers are busy perfecting the inside. We're finishing a painting, scrim, banners. So now that the kind of the bricks and mortar, concrete and steel are up, it's now all the finishing touches that add the color and bring the property to life. News 6 took a tour of the Motorsports Stadium to see what folks can expect come the Rolex 24, from plush new seats, wider concourses and signage, to tables and chairs where race fans will eat. A two-and-a-half-year-long construction project that the Speedway says was worth every minute. Can't wait. A couple more weeks, we'll open the gates and let our fans enjoy it. I think they're going to be impressed. In Daytona Beach, Lauren Korn, News 6.